Hey everyone, um, welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a user entirely Linux. Um, why might you uh, create a extra user in Kali Linux? You might ask. Well, um, as you know, or if you have, if you don't know, um, but we'll soon find out. You know, you, you, uh, some applications won't work in in root, so. Um, uh, it might be a good idea to create a uh, standard user with pseudo permission for administrative rights too. So uh, let's get started. Um, first thing you want to do is just uh, open up your terminal. Um, as you can see, I'm in root right now. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, basically, about five steps. Uh, step one is uh, you got to add your user. So um, this is the command add user. Let me see if I can. Uh, Let us up a little bit and uh, increase my view. There we go. All right. So first thing we want to do is add user. Um, and to do that, it's just the command user add uh, dash m and then the username of uh, your new user. I already created user one, so let's go ahead and create user two. Uh, dash m just means you know create um, it's going to create a home directory for the user so um, that's what it's going to do press enter done uh, second thing you want to do is just uh, set your password for uh, your user so uh, the command for that would be pass wd oops wd and then um, your username so in this case it's user2 uh, it'll probably ask you for your new password, so just enter uh, something, uh, whatever password you want. Press enter, retype it. There you go, password updated successfully. Um, so pretty much at this point, we uh, you pretty much created uh, a user. So uh, right now, what we want to do is add it to the sudo group. Uh, so uh, in order to do that, you got to be able to use this command here: user mod dash a space dash capital G means group. Um, so and then sudo and then the username. Whoops, can't type today. User two. Boom, work. So dash a just means uh, add, and dash g is just group. So it's just saying add to group sudo. Um, so uh, that's pretty much uh, it. Oh, actually, one more step. We got to uh, assign the shell to the new user. So uh, basically, it's a ch shell, change shell, dash s, forward slash bin, forward slash bash, and then the name of your user, user2. And we are done, all done. So. Um, Let's go ahead and test it out uh, and log out and log back in as user two. Switch user. There we go. User two. The password that you set up. And we are in. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Appreciate you guys watching. See you next time.